Hi guys. This week in Lanzarote, an unusual museum has opened its doors. If you want to see the art, then you need to dive, either scuba diving or snorkeling, because everything is underwater. The artist Jason De Kerr Taylor has finished working on his monumental underwater sculpture, with more than 300 life-size human figures. The collection of sculptures is designed to provoke environmental awareness and social change, with each piece creating an artificial reef that will promote marine life and can be toured by scuba divers. It's not the first underwater museum, but it's the first in Europe. Spain joins Mexico, the Bahamas and Grenada. This week I am playing a game that lets you dive as deep as you want to collect treasure. The only question is, will you make it back in time? to the submarine with your precious art before the air runs out. This week I am playing Deep Sea Adventure. In Deep Sea Adventure you and your buddies are competing to see who can get the best treasure out of the ocean. The only thing is you are sharing an oxygen tank. On your turn first you deduct the amount of oxygen for each treasure that you are carrying. And then you choose, do you go back up to the submarine or do you go further down to maybe collect even more treasure? You roll the dice to see your movement speed. Sometimes you will find yourself moving fast, jumping over other players as you go. And other times you wish you could move faster, for carrying treasure will slow you down. If the tank is empty before you reach the submarine, you'll lose those precious treasures and they will float down to the bottom, creating an even bigger pile for even bigger daredevils to come and collect. It is a short game in a small box, but there's really a lot of fun in it. There is of course a lot of luck, but on the other hand, there are some very nice choices that you can make as well. So a recommendation for me for Deep Sea Adventure. Thanks for watching, see you next week.